is Haskell and I'm joined by Omar Mezian, one of the top chefs from the Great Britain rowing team as well as a former chef at Wasp. He's going to cook us today pork and turkey meatballs with spaghetti. Mate, once again, really, really simple recipe, okay? So, you're going to get your hands dirty this time. Standard. Any hard work, <laughs> I have to do it, really. yeah? So, in here we've got some minced turkey, some minced pork, okay? Again, secret. Pinch of salt. Pepper, okay, and then this is about the only time that I will use breadcrumbs in a mince recipe, okay? It's okay, mate, don't feel guilty about it. It'll taste good. <laughs> and that's simply because if I didn't, because there's very, very little fat in the turkey, if I didn't use the breadcrumbs, essentially when we cook them, they would just fall apart. So, some breadcrumbs. Any particular Breadcrumbs, is there a healthier version of breadcrumbs? Panko breadcrumbs are my preferred favourite. Okay. They're the Japanese breadcrumb. So, essentially, the Japanese devised a method of baking bread that involves no heat. So, essentially, they pass an electric current through the dough. So, it ends up with no crust and very, very aerated. Okay. So, if ever you were going to shallow fry something and you needed to breadcrumb it, Panko are perfect, they okay. don't absorb as much of the fat, okay. okay? And they turn out twice as crispy. So some breadcrumbs, some fresh basil, some oregano, and we've got some smoked paprika, which smoked paprika is my favourite of all spices, okay? Don't buy normal paprika, smoked paprika, you can buy it in a little red tin. It's amazing, okay? So we've got some crushed garlic, some cumin. And obviously, not, none of this takes any real pre preparation, to be honest with you. Your breadcrumbs are already not. there, everything else is, you've, you've done, you've chopped the basil up roughly, but that's pretty simple. Yep. And the, you, you know, this comes from the supermarket very simply, the turkey. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Mate, so let's give those a good mix. So, in our big pan here, we've got a portion of whole wheat spaghetti boiling away. Now, with whole wheat foods, spaghetti, um, rice, brown rice, etc. They do take quite a bit more cooking. Okay, so that's rapidly boiling away there in a little salted water. How are they looking, mate? Yeah, good actually. It's Perfect. Really interesting how you get the mix. The basil, as soon as you start getting the mix, sort of emits that real nice smell. You've got the garlic in lovely, there as well. Lovely, lovely aromats, aren't they? So that looks perfect to me. So now we can make them. Oh, do you know what? That's the first time I've ever used, heard the word used. Aromats you use in terms of actual smell. I thought aromats yeah. something you put in your egg. No, in so the aromats we use a, as a term for those spices, you know, like the I like the cinnamon, etc. You know, those lovely fragrant spices that we use. You know, we call them aromats. So, so yeah. So now we want meatballs about that size. <laughs> I was going to make an inappropriate joke here, but we wouldn't, ever, we wouldn't ever do, do that. So in our pan here, also we've got some of our tomato sauce that we made earlier. Tiny splash of olive oil and a tiny pinch of salt and pepper. Again, okay, it's really interesting because we've talked about the um, we've talked about making a, a batch of, the, of that sauce. How useful it is. Again, we've used one consistent sauce throughout the yeah, whole absolutely. thing. So make it on a Sunday, make it at the beginning of the week. Big kiln jar, stick it in the fridge, Tupperware pots. Literally stick them in the freezer. Every time you want one tomato sauce, for instance, if you stick it in a Tupperware jar. Cant it out, frozen into a pan. Add a gentle heat to it. It will defrost slowly. You've got your tomato sauce ready to go. And you've obviously put olive oil on top of that as well, so layered it in. Yep, a touch of olive oil. We're just going to warm it through. The olive oil is essentially going to emulsify with that tomato. You're going to end up with a lovely, glossy, rich sauce. So. Those meatballs look spot on, mate. Cheers, bro. It's not, my, so. it's not my first rodeo, am I? <laughs> Who do you think he's dealing with here? <laughs> so. Not, not Chris Robshaw, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Joking, <laughs> but I'm not, obviously. That's perfect, mate. So, again, just a touch of salt and pepper just over those. And then we're going to put those straight into our pan. Sorry, mate, I've left you there for a minute. That's quite all right, it. mate. You know the first rule of cooking, always wash Clean your hands. Clean hands, mate. No one wants funny flavoured food. I mean, to be fair, the way you cook it might improve it. I'm joking. 
<laughs> he's the best, obviously, that's why we've got him. So, our meatballs are in our pan. Yep. Touch of oil. Yep. Okay. A inch of salt and pepper. And we're just going to brown those off all over. Okay. And then we're going to pop them in the oven. Literally sort of eight minutes or so. 180, 200 degrees. And we're just going to make sure that they're cooked all the way through. Obviously, we're using pork, white meat, and turkey of white meat. So we want to make sure that core temperature is well above the 75 degrees, you know. Okay. And again, you would do a if you don't have that that food to a simple cut through, check they're cooked all the way through. Simple. Cut through, okay. yeah. Brilliant. So our spaghetti. Is there any? You know, you, you've used obviously a whole wheat spaghetti there. Okay. Any spaghetti better than others? Obviously, whole wheat are the preferred choice. We're trying to stay away from refined stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I prefer whole wheat. Okay. I think it's got a slightly nutty flavour to it. Okay. And I prefer that flavour in a dish. Um, But again, I mean, you could use something like potato gnocchi or so on, you know, if you wanted to up that carbohydrate. Um, and you can buy those in the supermarket ready to go. Just a question, is there um, any difference on, you know, between buying that sort of fresh egg kind of pasta, which is sort of, you know, pre-made or if you make your own pasta, is there any, any better health benefits to doing that than eating packet stuff or...? I think flavour-wise, I think commercially made pastas, um, there is a difference in flavour. Okay. I wouldn't say that there's any difference in health benefit. Well, okay, fine. It's okay. negligible. Yeah. So, uh, it's all coming together Oh, you're allowed nicely. to shake the pan on that now, but you're not allowed to shake the pan on anything I've else. got to look sheppy at some point. <laughs> well, I tried to look sheppy, you told me off quite. <laughs> so, we're just warming that through. Our spaghetti is just about ready. Okay. Okay. So, we're just going to drain that off. We'll use a plate here if we've got the oil, or you'll use a lid. It's actually getting really interesting as well haven't you, how you haven't packed the pan. You know, every time I cook, I always try and jam as much stuff as I can into the pan to try to maximise uh, maximise my meals. But you're always talking about keeping things separate, allowing them to cook. I think it's, I think it's actually really important. Okay. I think it's something a lot of home cooks do wrong, which is put as much as they can into the pan. And essentially all you do is you lose the heat from the pan and then you end up boiling everything. Right. Everything ends up becoming quite bland. So Check. That's what I do when I'm cooking. That's why I always so, say that. I didn't realise that. So we want, I think, also, never be afraid of heat. Okay. You know, cooking requires heat. My, my darling wife, my mum, my grandmother, you know, they all cook on such low temperatures that nothing ever actually really cooks, you know. If they're cooking meat, they keep it on a medium temperature because they're afraid of cooking. Um, you know, they're afraid of burning it. Um, key is nice high heat, okay? If things are smoking, they're cooking, all right? We should say that Omar was married for the video we <laughs> yeah. put out. Subsequently, he's gone single. <laughs> he's turfed out of his home. So, our big pan. Yeah, got our turn it on. I turned it off, actually. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Right. Our big pan, we've got our cooked spaghetti, okay? And then just over there, mate, we've got a bowl of some flat parsley. Also known as Italian parsley. Okay. Okay. We've got some chopped red chilli. Okay. I've got to say, one of my favourite meals of all time... Yeah. ...was in the little island of Gozo, next to Malta, sitting by the sea, and we had this amazing bowl of pasta, spaghetti, loads of chopped parsley, loads of chopped chilli, a good squeeze of lemon. That was all it was. Really? It was one of the best meals of my life. I, I'm, really obsessed, I'm obsessed with chilli. One of my favourite things is, um, sounds very upmarket, but uh, uh, a homemade pasta with lobster, fresh chilli, garlic, everything else like that. that kind of thing, you know what I mean? That kind That's of good. thing, or, or like crab or anything else. I cooked it actually for um, a charity gig. Uh, a, a, a chef, not as good as you, showed me how to make it. I just really like that. That combination of the pasta, the chilli, the garlic, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of that parsley, it's unbelievable. It's so good. So, a little glug of olive oil, okay, onto our pasta. Is it because is it of Jamie Oliver we all now do glugs and stuff instead of like. Has it always been that case? I think it might be. Really? But I think Jamie's a bit of a hero, isn't he? Yeah, he just always talks about a glug, you know? Yeah. I like out of um, Goodfellas, you have a punch of salt or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Do you mean a pinch, not a punch? I quite like that. So, we're now going to just. Pour our pasta, just look at how 
beautiful this pasta looks. Now look, most of the time when we cook pasta at home, mm. we dump it in the bottom of a bowl, mm. okay, and it's just left there swimming in the water and it's not very nice. No. By adding the parsley, the chilli, okay, you can add a good squeeze of lemon juice in there. That in itself is a good meal. And the interesting trick is you empty the pan, put it back on the back onto the hob a little bit. Yeah, just a little gentle heat okay. just to warm it through again, get all those herbs and the chilli just okay. marrying in to the pasta. Re really interesting again. Students out there, guys on a low budget, you can't tell me that wasn't simple to make. I know a lot of you end up eating the pasta and um, with, with sauce. Some chilies cost nothing, parsley cost nothing. Pasta, you bought it anyway because you're a student. Pretty simple. So, we're now going to chuck our meatballs into our tomato sauce. Okay. And then we are literally going to put this in the oven. Okay. For about 10 to 12 minutes or until that meat's cooked all the way through, okay? Our meatballs are just out of the oven. Let's get them onto our pasta. So here's our pork and turkey meatballs with whole wheat uh, spaghetti with chilli and parsley. Mate, get stuck in. Arm with my fork already. Again, a really simple dish, eh? Put together in a few minutes. Absolutely no problem at all. Mm. That pasta has gone from being brand, unbelievably so tasty. Much flavor in there, hey? I love something the way so simple mm. as well, a bit of parsley, a bit of chili. I love the way the tomato sauce is reduced down as well, coating this meatballs really nicely. Absolutely. Pork and turkey works really well, actually. I think if you just had some turkey, it would be quite boring. I like that combination. It can just be quite dry. You've got a little bit of fat in the pork and that really distinctive porky flavour as well. It kind of blends with the turkey exceptionally well. That's fantastic. If you like the sound of that recipe, we have so many more coming with Omar. If you want to follow us um, at James Haskell on our social media, all these guys as well on their website, Eat Fresh. Was it? Eat Fresh, Feel Fresh. Eat Fresh, Feel Fresh. Co. Co. UK. Follow us on all of our social media channels. Look at us at YouTube, The James Haskell. We'll be back soon. I love you. He loves you. We love eating. We love eating healthy. See you all soon.